I'm along for my day going on a parabolic flight. Things started out at 8 a.m. checking in at the Lone Star Flight Museum. At check-in, we got our boarding pass and flight suit, as well as these grippy socks that marked what part of the plane we were gonna be in. And yes, you are supposed to eat a carb-heavy breakfast before you go on the flight, so we ate that while we went through some pre-flight briefings. After a walkthrough of what the experience would be like, going through TSA security and boarding the bus, we were headed over to our plane at Ellington Airfield. Of course, a few group pictures and selfies were required outside of G-Force 1, and then we got our boarding pass checked and we were able to board the plane. We went through a number of normal plane things like putting on seat belts and going through the flight attendant safety briefing. And after a quick 12 minute flight, we had our shoes collected, motion sickness prevention wristbands handed out, and we headed out to the padded part of the aircraft. Now we are all instructed to lay down to deal with the two G's of force on our chest before we got to experience three lunar gravity parabolas. So we were at about one sixth of Earth's gravity and doing lunar Lunar gravity before microgravity helps you adjust. And then what we were all waiting for, 14 parabolas of microgravity. Thanks to all the coaches who would grab us and put us on the ground if we were in a weird position and needed to be ready for 2G. I definitely got more comfortable with doing more acrobatics as we went along. After our parabolas, it was back on the ground, time to celebrate what we had just done. In total, it was about four and a half hours and wow, just an incredible experience.